I have two friends that are gay. Hey. <laughs> I have three friends that are gay. I have two friends that are gay and they are dating and I hate them. And it's not because they are gay. In fact, they are perhaps the greatest relationship I have ever seen. They're beautiful and amazing. And one day, I hope that they will have the option to be able to get married when us straight people are done with the beta test. We're not keeping anybody from it. We've been beta testing marriages. We're working out the kinks. And when it gets done, we'll release the final. Pr You'll thank us. It'll be much better for it, I promise. Just a few more years. I hate them because um, one is very short and him and I act exactly the same way. We think about the same things. We, we love the same stupid video games and crap. And the other one, we don't think alike at all, but he's six, seven, bearded, a stand-up comedian, and we've both auditioned for the role of Bigfoot together. We're basically interchangeable. What I hate is that when I see them making out and having a great time and being in love, it's like watching the personification of my brain and my body get along better than my brain and body ever have. I come home at the end of the day, body says, hey, I wanna go to sleep. Brain says, you know what? There are a whole lot of episodes of Gilmore Girls we need to rewatch. We should re... I will follow you. We've got to stay up all night again. And then I call them the next day. It's like, oh, what'd you do? Like, we went to bed early, woke up, went for a jog, taught each other how to make sweet potato pancakes, and we're just having a lovely day. What'd you do last night? Didn't cry. That didn't, didn't happen at all. So we decided we'd go on a double date, and we went to a concert together. So here's two six seven guys standing side to side, just twin towers of fuck you to the audience. Uh, we both brought dates that are of course much smaller than us, so we can't just do the gentlemanly thing and stand at the back, we have to sort of stand somewhere where these they can see, so that's our triple fuck you. And finally, tall guys have no posture. Like whenever we're, we are always a few inches, because it would be improper, we can't hear you if we're not like slouching or whatever, but if another tall guy enters the room, Instantly, just the tallest, you're a little on your tippy toes just so you can be like, no, nah, I got you by like half an inch. Like, no, it looks like you are, but your hair, it's your shoes. I think it's probably, we've known each other for a few years and we're still doing it, so two tall guys just. And that's when, as to be predicted, someone shouts from the back, move fag. I feel like I've, uh, Forgotten to mention an important detail here. This was a Fiona Apple concert. <laughs> Def Con one. So I turn around with a look in my eyes like I'm about to go Ben Folds five on somebody. And that's when it hits me. If you're at a Fiona Apple concert and you shout out fag, you know who should turn around? Every single person and then yourself. Have some perspective. Hey, Whitey, you'll have to be more specific. This is a Wilco concert. 